prepared. I'm not prepared for this. Hey, I'm Christina. I'm Catherine. I'm Lisa. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. I'm Danny. And we're Cimarelli. We get a lot of questions about our fingers, and some of them are just, you know, nice, curious, but some of them are not so nice. Today, we're going to answer the most commonly asked questions about our fingers and why they are the way they are. Four of us were born with crooked fingers, and two of us were not. I'm not sure the exact like medical term, but eight out of 11 of the kids in my family have crooked fingers. And it's something that comes from my dad's side of the family. My dad has crooked fingers. Some of his siblings have them. It's just something that's been passed down through the generations. Basically, the middle finger is not the longest. It's whatever finger this is. I think it's the ring finger. Generally, my fingers are really short. Like this one, it, <laughs> they look a little longer because my nails are so long, but like this one is probably two inches long. I'm not really like a ruler, but it's, it's really short. Every finger that I own is a little squiggly, I think. Like they all got a little pizzazz to them. <laughs> this hand is a lot more straight. Um, it's just that there, there definitely is like a, a curvature to it. But this one's the most squiggly. I accidentally slammed it in a door when I was like eight, I think. So it's kind of like fat right here. But also the other ones get kind of fat randomly too. So maybe that's not why it's fat. And then this finger is the only actually like real crooked finger as you can see. It like goes to the side. And then my ring finger is especially long and I guess that's not normal, I don't really know. So on both hands, my pointer finger is very, very short, especially compared to like the finger next to it. There's a big distance there. And my middle finger right here is specifically crooked and then my knuckles on like all of my fingers, but especially my ring fingers are giant. So it's like skinny, giant, skinny. But yeah, that's my hands. I'd say the only way that they actually affect my life is if I'm taking a picture of myself, I don't like feature them. I don't think most people feature their fingers in pictures, but like if I'm like doing this or like something, I just like try not to like put my whole hand up. If I'm just doing like two fingers or like this, like it's fine. I just don't like having my whole hand like just on display. They don't really affect my daily life literally at all, except for sometimes I see them in a picture or like a video after the fact that I'm like, this is weird. I never really think about it. It probably impacted me a lot more as a kid when I was much more insecure about it. But nowadays I, I feel like I just kind of go about my life. I don't think it affects my daily life literally at all, except when I do a peace sign, it just really doesn't look like peace. Um, it looks like something else. They do not hurt. They do not hurt. My fingers do not hurt. Uh, I think they function pretty normal. Uh, they're just shaped differently, but generally they feel fine. The fingers are totally fine and they work like normal fingers. They just look a little different. Also, a lot of people ask if you can bend this one and it just doesn't really do it. Um, so yeah, it doesn't bend back. Growing up with my siblings and their crooked fingers, that was like all I knew. Like it was almost weirder to me that I didn't have that because I mean, what, is it more people in our family have crooked than seven. not crooked, right? Cats have eight, but I'm pretty sure it's seven. I think it's seven or eight of us out of 11 have crooked. So I was kind of, it was kind of weirder to me that I didn't have them. I remember like knowing they had like the really crooked ones and like they would get comments on them and people would say kind of mean stuff, especially to my brother. And I am really protective. So I remember just being really mad as a child, like, excuse me. I never thought it was weird or scary or any of the things that some clueless people say about them. I thought it was kind of cool. I never thought it was weird or different. It honestly just, I didn't think about it. It was just normal to me. I do remember every time, since I'm the second oldest, I'm very blessed. Every time my mom had a new child, Every time she gave birth, I got to see the new baby and like I would look at their fingers to see if they were crooked or not. And then you would see like cute little crooked little fingers. That is actually really cute, I'm just saying. Because they were all so different. It was like they would have their own variation. So like I can easily tell apart every single one of their fingers because they're so unique. Here's the thing. I thought I had normal fingers probably my entire life until sometime in the last few years, honestly. But there is one case when someone pointed out they were different to me when I was younger, but I never thought about it again. 
Maybe when we went on the internet and some people started commenting on them, but I think I kind of just always knew like, oh, my fingers are crooked, but it wasn't like, oh, my fingers are crooked. It was just like, they just are. When I was a kid, one of my friends pointed them out in a not very nice way. She actually said they were demented. I definitely remember there were times when I tried to hide them. Like in pictures, I would like make a fist <laughs> so you couldn't really see them. So I guess maybe subconsciously I was um, insecure about them, but I don't remember having any um, conscious thoughts about it. I feel like I always knew that. Well, probably not when I was born, but all of my conscious memories, I knew it was different. People rarely made comments about my fingers in real life. I've actually had several friends who I had known for like years who never even noticed them until I pointed them out and they're like, what? They just, they were very surprised because they'd never noticed them before. The only time I remember really getting rude comments besides that friend when I was younger was on the internet. People said really rude things about our fingers. I don't know, there definitely were a lot of people that were like, oh my gosh, your fingers. And I just like, I couldn't even really take that to heart because I was just like, if people ever wanted to like hate on us, one of the main like physical things that people would hate on was our fingers, especially like mine and Lauren's because we posted pictures of our hands before. So they would use those and be like, oh my gosh, what is this? Like, that's so gross, that's so scary. Like, that's so creepy. And it used to really affect me a lot because it's like, I literally can't control this. And I always saw it as so minuscule, like this doesn't matter. It's just my fingers, but it seemed to matter so much to people on the internet and like they were so weird. So when I was a younger teen, then it kind of affected me more, but people don't really say too much about them anymore because I think the joke kind of died, but it was definitely a thing on the internet for a while to be like, oh my gosh, Simmerly's fingers. People have made many, many comments about them. I think when I was younger, people were a little more rude because they were just young and they didn't realize that it was rude. But people would just say things like, oh my gosh, that's so weird. Or like, oh, that's so creepy. Some people are really scared. Like, I don't really think it's that scary personally, but some people were kind of scared. In person, people didn't really say anything except good things. Like every boy who I've ever talked to or liked or whatever, who has seen my fingers, which is, you know, all of them, has like grabbed them and been like, oh my gosh, these are so cool. Like they thought they were the coolest thing ever. Something that surprised me when I got older was that boys that I dated always really liked my fingers. Like there was never a negative reaction. They were always like really positive and thought they were cool and unique. Which was really cool to hear because I always thought they were weird and different, especially with all the weird hate comments on the internet. But like the people I actually cared about thought they were really cool, so that's good. Really, in the last like five years, I don't think I've heard even one like negative comment about them. Because I think when you get a little older, then you realize like, oh, you shouldn't insult people's appearances, you know? The only time I ever got a comment about my fingers was by this little boy when I was like 13-ish, 12, somewhere in that vicinity. And this boy goes like, what's wrong with your fingers? And I was like, really shook. I was the only person in the room and I was like, are you talking to me? And I looked at him and I was like, I don't know. So you haven't gotten any mean comments? Not that I haven't seen any mean comments. It's so different from dating experience? There isn't like one specific thing I can think of, but there was a time in like 2015 when for some reason this group of people on Twitter just decided to relentlessly make fun of our fingers for so long. And the things that they said then were probably the worst things because they would just make joke after joke after joke. And it was literally hundreds of people posting pictures of our fingers, talking about how weird and creepy they are and all of these terrible, funny things about it. I guess just saying like, that's so creepy. Like, I don't think it's creepy. <laughs> think how creepy, I think like Halloween or something. I guess it is kind of Halloween-ish, like Frankenstein maybe. Maybe Frankenstein would have a finger like that. But it's just like, I don't know why you would say that to someone. feel insecure about my fingers in pictures, I think, because it's easy for people to comment on them if they're just like out and there. I don't really feel insecure about them in person because like I said, like real people who I know think that they're cool and don't say rude things to me. But on the internet, it's definitely hard to just be like, hey guys, here are my fingers because people can be so 
cool about them? A few times I remember feeling insecure, like especially as a teenager. I remember thinking at one point that like a boy would think they were weird. I even remember having this conscious thought of like, oh, hopefully he would be on my left side because this hand is a lot more straight than this hand and thinking that he would think it's like weird to hold the more crooked one. Sometimes I'll be watching a video and I'll be like, wow, the fingers are kind of weird. But I'm not like insecure about it. I'm just like, oh, they're just a little different. I definitely felt insecure about it. I mean, I still do sometimes like, I'm not gonna like do a peace sign because I don't want people to notice. And sometimes when I'm talking to people, like I talk with my hands a lot and I notice people like looking, but they don't say anything. And like, I can tell that they notice, but then usually I just bring it up. I'm like, oh yeah, I have crooked fingers. There was this one picture I posted on Instagram in like 2016 and my fingers were very much on display and I almost like photoshopped them because they were so like crooked and jagged or whatever and I was like maybe I can fix it. It didn't work so I didn't do it. I just ended up posting the picture like with my fingers in it and I wrote this really long caption about how scary it is to post that and how people are so rude about it but I think they're cool and it doesn't matter to me blah 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 and surprisingly that got Obviously got a lot of love in the comments, but it got like a ton of hate in the comments. And I was actually really surprised because first of all, I was like 15. So all these people were saying all this stuff about a child. And second of all, I was saying this long caption about how like hard it is for me to show them and like talk about them and how much people hate them. And people were still like tagging their friends like, oh my gosh, look at this. And like, oh my gosh, this is so weird. Like what's wrong with your hands? Like this is so weird and creepy. Like all of these things. And it was really surprising to me that people could do that after I already said this like really long thing about it. I used to be insecure about it and people would say rude things and I'd just be like, ha ha ha. But then I started like responding back and be like, why would you say that? That's rude. And then people are like, oh, sorry. Like I, I wasn't trying to be rude. And I think I just got a lot of positive responses to them as I got older. And I just realized like, they don't affect my daily life in any way. Like, it's not like a disability that I have. Like, it's not something that's wrong with me. So I don't really see a reason to be insecure about it because it's just the way that I was born. And it's like, I can't change it. So I might as well just accept it because I don't want to spend my whole life hating something that I can't change. I don't really love or hate my fingers because they're just fingers. So I don't know if anyone else looks at their hands and is like, man, I just really love my fingers. It's kind of the same with me. Like I just, they're just there. They've always been attached to my body. They've always been like this. Obviously there's been some hard times with me. Like, oh, why is this happening to me? Why are people being so mean about this? But it's just like, oh, these are my hands. And some people don't like them, but I don't really notice them. They're just like there. So I'm not like, oh wow, I love my fingers. I'm just like, oh, there are my fingers. And I do get a kick out of showing people them because no one notices until I'm like, oh my gosh, look, my middle finger's not the longest, it's my ring finger. And then people are like, whoa. But really, that's all. I get a kick out of <laughs> It's funny. I feel like I just didn't really think about my fingers as much. And then there was a period of insecurity. And as I've gotten older, I feel like now, I genuinely love my fingers and I would not change them. I really like how they're different. Like I think, it's something that makes me different. I always think about how like my sister Lauren, her fingers are so cute and like Lauren's crooked fingers, I think of them in a really positive way that they're such a cute part of who she is. And I think that people that love me must think what I think about Lauren and see my fingers the way that um, Lauren's are. I don't know if I would say I've learned to love them but I definitely like accepted them. Like I want to like work on it to where I can get to a place where I can look and be like, wow, love ya. But I don't really, I'm not really at that place right now, but I'm definitely not like, oh, I hate you when I look at my hands, you know? I'm just kind of like, huh, okay, like we can deal with this. I just don't really understand why anyone cares. Like they're just fingers. I don't really notice them at all anymore. So I don't really know why anyone else does. I don't think people generally would point something out that's different about somebody and make some negative comment about it unless they felt like something that was different about them wasn't okay. So I would say my message would be that whatever it is that you're insecure about, then that's okay. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Even if you think it is like, you can make it into a cool thing in your own mind. It's more about like, your perspective on it. You don't have to point out other people's things that you think are like weird or different 
in a negative way just because you don't feel good about your own things. I guess I would just encourage them to become more comfortable with themselves and the things that make them different. I don't really get why anyone cares about someone else's body. Like why you would ever like hate something about another person's appearance. Like it has nothing to do with you. People, it's not their job to look good and it's definitely not their job to please you with the way they look. They didn't even choose the body that they were in. So it's just confusing. Like I don't even get why there are haters of a body part. I used to be a cyber bully when I was like 13, 14 years old. I am that person who left hate comments. You know, people are like, who does that? Like, who would do that? I did that. So trust me, I get it. I know what you're thinking. And honestly, it makes me feel embarrassed for people who say things like that now because I was in that position. I was very unhappy with my life. I was pretty depressed. I was like a really sad kid. I had no interests, like no hobbies nothing better to do with my time. It's just kind of pathetic. It's really sad. But I also feel bad for you because I know how sad and lonely that life is. So if you spend your time saying mean things about other people on the internet, I get it. I've been there. That was me. It's really sad. And I think a lot of people try to be like, no, I'm happy. You just suck. And it's like, I've been from the one end of the scale to the other, like when my life sucked and I was ripping people apart. And then I went to the other side of it where I stopped ripping myself apart, stopped ripping other people apart, and actually created a life that I love with good friends, good interests, good hobbies, awesome job, amazing family. Like I, I focused on those things and I actually was happy. I didn't leave any hate comments ever again. I never felt the urge again, okay? You don't do that when you're happy. You don't do that when you love your life and things are going well. When you're like, yes, oh my gosh, my family's awesome. I'm in love. I'm so happy. I accept myself. I don't, I'm not a perfect person, but I'm happy with my life. You're not like, man, the only thing that can make this day better would just be to rip someone to shreds and tell them they're ugly. That's not how it works, okay? So you can't fool anyone and you're like, oh yeah, my life's great. I'm awesome and perfect and I just want to tell you that your fingers are ugly and it has nothing to do with me. Like, you're not fooling anyone. <sighs> it's hard to think of what to say because I know that most of the people who say like mean stuff about my sister's fingers on the internet are just like a bunch of like 14 year olds trying to be like savage or whatever. So it's like, I don't want to drag them. That's just weird from coming from me, you know? If you um, feel the need to leave like some hate comments for anyone, for anything, then I just hope that your life gets better because I don't think you deserve to have a horrible life. Hope it gets better. Hope you find a friend and like a hobby and like a life. That's my wish for you. My wish for you. I would say if something about you is unusual physically, take it and just go with it. There isn't really anything else you can do. Like I'm not gonna grow suddenly, so I have to be like, okay, this is my height. This is how I am. It is unusual. It is different. I don't really like being different, but I'm just gonna suck it up and I'm gonna learn to deal with it and I'm going to enjoy my height. Because honestly, these things that are like unusual and different, they're really just markers that make us individuals. Because if everyone was the same, then you wouldn't know who anyone was until they said their name. Personally, I love the things that are the most unique about me. I love when I say something and it like shocks another person or like confuses them and they're like, whoa, I've never heard that before. Like. I love that feeling. I love being different in the ways that I am. And I think if you have something about you that's really different, you should try to change your perspective on what it means to be different because it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Personally, I don't like people who are really generic, no offense, like I don't really like being friends with those people. I don't really find a conversation with someone who's just like watering themselves down to be super generic. I don't find that interesting. The people that I like the most, the people that I like being around the most are the people that are extremely authentic and themselves and anyone who's being 100% themselves is going to be different. So if there's something about you that's really different, whether it's like your freckles or curly hair or like a birthmark or like a mole or something, I don't know, I think that's really cool because like that's what is the unique characteristic that makes people remember you and what's really different about you. And as far as 
if you have something physically that's different, I just want to tell you, it's not your job to look good and it's not your job to please other people with how you look. Like, your appearance is not for other people. Your body is literally just a place to store like your organs and your heart and it's just there for you to do the things that you want to do and live life. Some people don't have arms or legs. They can't walk. They can't use their body to do the things that they want to do. So just stop looking at your body as this thing that's supposed to like please other people and realize that it's just a gift to you to be able to carry out the dreams that you have in your mind. Four of us were born with crooked fingers, and two of us were not. <laughs> and two of us were not. Why are you laughing? And two of us were not. Okay. Why is that funny? <laughs> so like you said it, okay. like she's doing the intro to like CSI. I was just holding my foot down. Oh, is that it for that? Wait, what's the closest one? Catherine's one. You're yes, both besides, um, we're going to try to answer our, the, the most just common thing I've said. Just that. Sick boy. Show them like this and we're just, I don't remember my childhood. Okay. I would say like, act. Not. Forever like. It's almond coconut. What is that? It's almond coconut. Oh. It's a kind hey, ball. Because I love almond joy. Mm. In balance. Mm. <sighs> Okay. Are you ready? Wait, leave. No, I'm not ready. I'm snacking. Okay. I got it. I'm just gonna say one thing. <coughs> if she would stop coughing. <coughs> so honestly, if you feel the urge. <coughs> She's choking. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> well, couldn't have. That would have ruined it anyway. <coughs> At least you're not. Okay, one, two, three. <coughs> Do you want some water? I'm gonna try. But... <coughs> I didn't think it was weird. I didn't think it was like... Oh my gosh. God just fired a shotgun. Holy crap. Okay, one. I... What's the word? Like intensified? Oh. No, I... Okay, let's do it. I got the questions. Right. That way. Put it back! <laughs> oh my god.